It's Friday, the 16th of February 2018, and welcome to Navigating Your Day. In Jinjin Jitsu, 16 came into the universe meaning breaking down old forms in order to make room for new ones. And um, this has got to do with breaking down scars. Now, these can be physical scars, physical scars on the physical body, and they can also be mental and emotional scars. So when we connect with the energy of the 16, we can resonate with that energy that helps us to break down these entrenched and hard and contracted beliefs thoughts, ways of viewing the world and our circumstances and other people. Um, 16 is a seven. Seven is the idealist. Seven is the one that believes that if we all just did our bit and if we all just worked on ourselves and if we all just raised our levels of awareness, then the world would change. And in that, they are probably not incorrect, except that sevens tend to have expectations that other people are going to play the game, right? And when people don't live up to their expectations, sevens can get really disappointed. So do be aware of that today. Seven is independent. Seven is a loner. Seven wants to work alone, be alone, and wants to think independently. Seven is never really part of the herd. Sevens are very often the people who choose the road less traveled. So those are all opportunities for us today to break the mold, break down the scars, get out of our confined boxes, um, get out of our confined way of thinking, stop being so trapped in our limited thoughts of our potential and to connect more to the idealist, the spiritual seeker. Sevens, um, usually they have a desire for a deep spiritual connection, mostly because they have an inherent insecurity about the future. So you may find yourself today thinking, like, oh my God, you know, what is it all about? Like, is this really life? You know, you might have a bad day at work and go, well, there's got to be more to it than this. That, those are the kind of questions that sevens ask themselves. Sevens are regenerated and are energized by nature. So if you can get yourself into nature today, I sound like a stuck record, I say that just about every day, but if you can get yourself into nature today, it will help you to connect with that part of you that is bigger than you are. And it'll help you feel as if you are part of something much, much, much larger. And you know, when you look at something that's bigger than you are, then suddenly it puts your problems and your situation into perspective. I went to the beach the other day and I, um, I climbed a quite a high dune and I sat on the dune. And when I was on the dune, I had the entire vista. I could see the ocean. It was a very clear day. I could see as far, far to the horizon. And all the way around, I had a, it wasn't 360. It was probably like a, I don't know, I'm terrible with degrees and stuff, but like a 200 degree panoramic view. And when I was sitting up there, again, you know, I got, I was humbled by the vastness of just that little piece of beach and ocean that I could see relative to me. And it didn't make me feel less than, it made me feel part of it, but it put things into perspective for me. And um, it, it just helped to calm down my anxiety and my overwhelm and made me realize that actually, you know, what I was actually crapping myself about was really not very important in the grand scheme of things. So when you get that big picture view, it actually takes you out of the details that you can be mired in and it just gives you perspective and it just gives you a, just a gap of two or three breaths, which then gives you enough to find a different way or a new solution or just a, just a more aligned way of doing things. So that's the potential that we can have today by resonating with that energy of the safe, of safety engine lock number 16 and the seven. Seven is a water number. We've got the two water numbers from February and 2018. So there's lots of water in the life map today. And that water in the life map, in fact, the hero is also a Two. Yes, the hero is also a two. So we have lots of water in the life map today. And that means that we have a lot of potential to connect with our emotions. Now, for those of us who find that very difficult or who are more associated with the head and less associated with the heart, we might find ourselves being quite overwhelmed. We may find the day difficult because we just actually can't deal with that strongly emotional energy. For those of us who are very emotionally in tuned, that would not be me, we could get quite overwhelmed by emotions today. So remember, emotions are like tides. They come in and they go out, but only if you let them. So allow yourself to feel what you're feeling and try not to shy away from the discomfort because the more you shy away from it, the more you build a wall, the more the water builds up behind the wall, the more likely you are to actually unleash a flood. Better to let it out in little increments at a time, okay? Um, two is about nurture, remember? So we've got three twos today, and the two in the euro position helps us to see the balance, helps us to see not the big picture necessarily, but helps us to see the balance in what we are dealing with right now. So in the, in the midst of the darkness, there's always a light. 
It, um, you know, good things can come out of what seem like bad situations. Every situation in actuality is a balance of support and challenge. It's not one-sided. And you may perceive it that way. In fact, you're designed to perceive it that way. It's part of the challenge of living in this particular dimension that we live. Um, but you can learn to see the other way. But you can't learn to see the other way if you are hanging on to your perceptions of, I don't know, life's unfair, this sucks, I'm useless, Whatever negative story it is that you're telling yourself, that's why you want to truly connect with that, uh, with that energy of the 16 today, which helps to break down those limited, scarred perceptions that we have. The villain today is the nine. Nine in the villain position is stubborn. <laughs> so, you know, I'm probably going to get a few comments on um, this clip that say things like, well, you know, my life is an absolute disaster and there is no balance and there is no there's no support in this. I'm only perceiving challenge and... Um, or they won't even leave a comment. They'll just go, oh, this woman is a total fruit loop and, um, and never watch again, which is okay. Um, however, uh, it, you, can, you can either choose to accept that that's how it works or not. And the nine in the villain position is more likely to stubbornly hang on to what makes them uncomfortable, their horrible way of doing, and then have a tantrum about how awful their lives are or how things can't change or how unfair things are. That is the potential that we all have today. So we all have the potential to stubbornly cling to our position, even though it doesn't serve us. And the reason why we'll do this, the reason why we do this, and we have to have compassion for ourselves, I do this all the time, is because we, we're, we're more comfortable with what we know. And if all we know is, is in our mind, perceive pain and negativity, stepping out of that and appreciating that there might be a different story or possibility means our entire view has to shift. And that means our entire view of our future and our present and our past has to shift. And then we cannot play, we cannot play the name and shame game any longer. And that is very, very difficult. So please, 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 please tap into the energy of the two and be kind to yourself. Please, be kind to yourself and treat yourself as you would that young, vulnerable child, all right? And when you find yourself being stubborn, ask yourself, how does this feel? And if it's making you feel bad, then just, just a little bit of awareness. Could this be the nine in the villain position of the life map today? Am I actually just cutting off my nose to spite my face? And could I actually do it differently? Of course, you can hold your thumb because your thumb is where safety engine lock number 16 resides. And when you hold your thumb, you harmonize with that energy. You help to break down the scarring. You help to break down those old barriers. You help to break down that old way of thinking. You also harmonize the worry and anxiety that comes with stepping into a new paradigm. And you help to harmonize the stomach, spleen, and spleen organ function energies. So you bring the thinking and the feeling into alignment. And you help your digestion to digest your food. And you help your mind to digest digest your thoughts and your perceptions. Hope you have an amazing Friday and I'll speak to you again on Monday.